Hey, my brothers and sisters, I hope this day finds you well. This is a topic here that I'm going to get into today that is one of those things where let's say that you're you're out in the wilderness and you look over and you say, hey, that's a bush. And then you look and say, OK, that's a tree. And you say, OK, well, that right there, that's a flower. And it seems very simple. You can see what it is. You know what it is. You know what it's been historically. It, that's it. And instead of it just being left there to reality, it's getting perverted and twisted because a small, very, very small minority of folks who are in a particular group, and then within that group, another smaller minority of that group are so unhinged and so delusional that they want you to say that that tree is actually a bush. The bush is actually a tree and that flower is actually a bumblebee, all because they, they, they identify as that. It's that silly to me because it's not based in reality. I wanna say this, I want you guys to hear me. It is not possible to transition, to, to transition from one gender to another. We are binary, so there's only two. That's the rule. Inter being born intersex as a birth defect is an exception, but that's not the rule. There are only two genders. You cannot transition, therefore transgender is not even a possibility in our reality. So using the term transgender is in and of itself incorrect and it's not applicable to somebody who has a mental disease and needs to be treated with compassion and love and respect. Now, there are a couple of articles that I want to bring to your attention. First one here, this is coming from CNN because I like to use the left-leaning platforms. And as you know, the left-leaning platforms, media platforms are not journalists, they're all activists. Iowa becomes second state to enact anti-trans sports ban this year. Iowa's Republican governor approved legislation Thursday banning transgender women and girls from participating on sports teams consistent with their gender at accredited schools and colleges. Now, let me reread this because we need to change out some words. And once I do, it's going to make even more sense because this shouldn't even be an issue at all. He said, there's a tree, it's a bush, it's a flower. Okay, they can't just change what they, what they actually are and what they were made to be simply because they have a mental, a mental illness. Iowa's Republican governor approved legislation Thursday banning men from, banning men and boys from participating on sports teams consistent with their gender at a accredited school and college. That's how it should be because there's no such thing as a transgender woman. You are just a man who has maybe physically or surgically altered themselves, maybe chemically, you know, pharmaceutically altered themselves, and then physically have, have altered yourself to appear more like, because we're binary, more like the female part of that binary couple. That's it. You're not a transgender woman, you're a man. And the same goes the, the, the other direction. There's no such thing as, as a transgender man. You're a woman who has pharmaceutically, physically, and surgically altered themselves. And the fact that you even had to go through all that kind of validates my point. The Iowa law states only female students based on their sex, you shouldn't even have to say that, female is enough, may participate in any team, sport, or athletic event designated as being for females, women or girls. That's weird to say females, women or girls. Okay. The measure defines sex 
as the sex listed on student's birth certificate or adoption certificate issued at or near the time of the student's birth. That's not necessary. That's, that's ridiculous. The, we, you don't require a piece of paper. That's the, see, they're trying to make it seem like there's a gender spectrum and sex and gender are different. There isn't a gender spectrum. There's only two genders. So if there is a spectrum, it only has two components. And it doesn't matter what's written on your birth certificate. What matters is when you were born, did you have twigs and berries or did you not? That's it. That's the general rule. Don't even bring up the intersex. I've already addressed it. That's an exception. We're going to speak in general rule. Twigs and berries are not twigs and berries. That's it. And twigs and berries competes against twigs and berries. And if you don't have twigs and berries, you compete against somebody who doesn't have twigs and berries. That's the way that works. Talking about from birth, not surgically altered later on. That's it. End of story. I'll, I'll include this article um, and link. You can read through it. I'm not going to because the rest of it is, is just nonsense. The argument should have, should have already been done. If, if you are a female, you compete against females. If you are a male, you compete against males. End of story. We call it a day and move on. But I want to bring this to your attention. This is coming from The Blaze. I'm a woman, just like anybody else on the team. Transgender University of Pennsylvania swimmer claims to be a woman and wants to keep swimming after college. This is a person who needs help. They're saying I'm a woman just like anybody else. That is just objectively false. You're not a woman like anybody else. And what, they're, what he is really saying is, I'm a woman just like any other woman. And you are not because you were not born a woman. So that there, you're not like every other woman because women are born women. You were not, so you're not like them. No matter how much you want to be, you're not like them. Now you can speculate that, that this person swam as a male and was mediocre and is now swimming as a female and, and making records. You can make that all you want. My thing is, it shouldn't even come to this. We've lost our minds that we're even acquiescing to this. Look at the population. Look at the transgender population in relation to our whole entire nation. Why are we accommodating such a small percentage, such a ridiculously small percentage of people who are clearly mentally ill and need help? Why are we changing policies and legislations and laws for this? for people who are mentally ill. Understand that people who advocate for this, they don't want the best for this country. They're, they're just arbiters of chaos because we already know what the reality is and they don't want to adhere to it. And there's an agenda behind that. They're either mentally diseased or they're supporting it because they're trying to weaponize it to get something else that they want. And they don't actually care about the transgender community. Thomas said, and I quote, I'm a woman just like anybody else on the team. I've always viewed myself as just a swimmer. It's what I've done for so long. It's what I love. Okay, but you're a man and you were swimming as a man. So if you loved it, why did, why did you change? You could have continued to swim as a man against other men. And when you decided to change, that was your choice. You sacrificed your, your ability to compete against men further by putting the hormones in your body, maybe, I don't know, but that was your choice. Why does the whole world now have to shift to accommodate your mental disease? Why do we all have to pretend that you are what you believe that you are when we all know that you are not? How does that help you? And how does that help us? It doesn't. You're destroying everything because you're mentally ill and because our disease culture produces narcissists. That's what we do. We produce narcissists. And this person is one. They care more about themselves than anything else. And for some reason, folks are acquiescing and accommodating. It makes absolutely no sense. And so now we have Sports Illustrated. And Sports Illustrated doesn't care. They just want to sell magazines. They'll piggyback this stuff today and then 10 years from now pretend like they never did. 
And if it's in for them to be against transgenderism, they'll make an article where they're against it. They don't actually care. You understand that, right? They're doing the safe thing. All these people, all these corporations who do the safe thing, it seems like, oh, well, if all these corporations are behind it and, and all these major places are behind it, then it must be okay. No, they are being coerced into it because they know if they don't jump on the bandwagon, they will be attacked because the left has an ideology to where it's their way or the highway. So Sports Illustrated doesn't care. They know that this isn't true. They know that this is absolutely ridiculous and perverted to have a man compete against women and destroy them. That makes no sense. And I've heard this said many times, so let me just throw it out there as well. Where are all my feminists at? Where are all my advocates for women? Where are you guys at? You guys are running scared with your tail tuck between your legs because this ideological wave coming from the left, this wave of chaos is destroying everything it touches and you guys just don't wanna be a casualty. I know, you're just too scared to do anything. The very simple answer is that I'm not a man, Thomas said. I'm a woman, so I belong on the women's team. Trans people deserve that same respect every other athlete gets. Okay, this is where the narcissism comes out. I'm gonna read this again. Trans people deserve that same respect every other athlete gets. Okay, but you're disrespecting the women. So only you matter because you're completely and utterly disrespecting the women who want to compete against women because they know competing against a man in any type of physical activity is going to most likely be fruitless. So you only, you only want respect for you and other trans people. That's it. Only trans athletes matter, nobody else. Even though you're this much of the population, you should matter more than the institutions that were put in place before you came on the scene and before your illness was acquiesced to by even our president. You should have enough, enough respect for other athletes to not compete against women. But you don't respect anything. You just want what you want. Period. The debate over whether biological males, and you shouldn't have to say biological, you can just say males. I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna cut that out. Let me read that again. The debate over whether males should be allowed to compete in athletic events designated for women is an issue rife with cultural controversy only because they're making it so. They're creating this problem. It actually was never a controversy, ever. Well, I won't say ever. We knew that men should compete against men and women should compete against women and we moved in that direction. But it wasn't controversial. We did it for safety reasons. We did it because we acknowledged reality and the biological fact that I, as a man, am bigger, faster, stronger than 99.9% .9 of the women in the world. There's gonna be some anomalies, of course, but generally speaking, I'll crush any woman. I'll crush them. You don't believe me, like if you, if you believe that, that, let's say that you're a transgender man, and you wanna come arm wrestle with me or something like that, hey, you're welcome to it. If you're a woman and you think that, that what I'm saying is, is untrue, come and arm wrestle me then. <laughs> come on, I'll crush you. You're nowhere near as strong as I am. Physically, I'm only talking about physical. Does that mean that a woman is less valuable? Of course not. Women are actually more valuable, which is why me as a man, I was made as strong as I am to protect women because they're actually the most valuable part of our civilization. Why don't, all of this stuff devalues women and devalues the natural order and devalues everybody's role in that natural order. I don't know why you don't see that. They just destroy, they're just destroying what actually gives us power and gives us meaning and gives us value. I was made stronger and faster to stand sentinel for my family. This is absolutely ridiculous. And so now, now we have this man who doesn't want to be a man. So we lose his contribution. He knows better than life itself. 
we lose his contribution. The contribution that he was meant to make as a man, we now lose. And since he, be, since he can't become a woman, he ends up taking the seat of a woman, effectively making so she so her contribution is lost. So in this one failed swoop, this is where the chaos comes in. We lose the man's contribution and we and it diminishes or loses the woman's contribution as this man now tries to take that woman's spot. And he can't. He was never meant to, he's not made to. No amount of surgery and physical alterations and pharmaceuticals is going to ever change that. We support Leah as a trans woman and hope she leads a happy and productive life because that's what she deserves, the parent of a pen swimmer said, according to the outlet. What we can't do is stand by while she rewrites records and eliminates biological women from this sport. If we don't speak up here, it's going to happen in college after college, and then women's sports as we know it will no longer exist in this country. So I'm gonna stop it right there because we see where this is going. You don't have to acquiesce to someone's mental illness. You wanna be polite, okay. But if you start to give an inch on reality, they're gonna keep taking more inches until eventually you're, you're living in Arkham Asylum and you're calling it a community center. That's where this leads. You can't give an inch to, to things that are, are not movable, where there's no gray area. You can't give an inch on those things. There are certain things that are just engraved in stone and they're our anchor. And if you get rid of our anchor, we're just going to float around in the seas just being tossed anywhere. And we'll have no direction. We'll have no course. We'll have no heading. We'll lose our power to choose those things and we'll just end up it just basically at the whim of the wind. So the fact that we are binary mammalian species is fact, period. The fact that it is impossible to transition from one gender to the other is a fact, period. There should be no other discussion. So of course, if we're talking about sports, men, men, women, women, fact, we move on. And physical sports, of course. Like if you're shooting pool, like a woman can come in and crush and crush you if she has the skills. But even with golf, there's an acknowledgement that a man is gonna drive the ball further than a woman, than a woman, which is why they separate them, because that's not going to be fair. Right? So there's certain things that you don't you don't budge on. And the left, because they're agents of chaos and because they'll use any strategy to get what they want, no matter the casualties, they make you believe. They try to make you believe or try to make other people believe that if you are unwilling to give an inch, then the problem is actually you. The problem isn't that they shouldn't want that inch in the first place. See how that works? So you may disagree with me. You may agree with me. It doesn't matter. The truth doesn't need you to agree with it in order to be true. And what I just told you is objectively the truth. And we can go biological, we can go it doesn't matter, it's the truth. I don't have to put biological in front of it. I'm a man, I was born a man. If you're a woman and you're born a woman, they're both beautiful things. We both have a contribution to make and we both have our roles. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It so is, oh my goodness, it is a beautiful thing. Don't let them take that away from you. Don't let them take away the value that you were born to contribute. You were born to do it. How can that be wrong? You were literally born to do it, right? Like a fish is born to swim. A fish can't suddenly identify as a human being and then want to walk on the land. You look at the little mermaid, you saw the chaos that, that ensued after that. She almost lost the whole kingdom of the ocean because of her narcissistic desire to be someplace where she wasn't meant to be. And everybody else had to adjust to her. The Little Mermaid is such a horrible movie. <laughs> it's so horrible. Oh my goodness. 